Hello. Um, I know it feels like I've just fallen off the face of the earth the last few days and I promised I'd come home and get straight into our January sort out together. And I've been promising it for months, so I'm so sorry. But we had like the worst exit to Jamaica of all time. <laughs> and I don't, I can't even like get over what's happened. <laughs> Cause it doesn't feel real in my head. And today's like the first day I felt like I can walk around the house and feel like normal. Um, but anyway, cut a long story short, on the night, the day before we were traveling home, I started to feel a little bit like fluey. So I was like, oh, I'm getting that flu that everyone's got annoying that's all right we're going home tomorrow so i just get through it get over it and carry on um so i carried on and then as the day went on it just felt worse, and worse. so i was like do you know what joe you take the kids to dinner i'm just gonna go to bed i don't, don't feel great i need to sleep this off and then he got back from dinner took one look at me and rang my sister and my mum because he was like she looks a mess he was like you you were sweating and laying there like this <laughs> And I was like, oh my God. So my sister comes in the room and I know something serious when my sister comes in the room. Where she's a nurse, she wouldn't bother. Like, she's very much like, you're fine, unless you're not fine. Do you know what I mean? And then she'll be like, oh, hold on a second. So she come in and she was like, oh, we need to sit you up, cool you down, get you some paracetamol, a profin, blah, blah, blah. Did all her nursing stuff. And every time she checked my temperature, all I remember was her not saying anything. And I was like, Gemma what's happening and she was like no it's okay <laughs> but it weren't because <laughs> what she said to me afterwards was my temperature was going up and not coming down and she was like that is not a good sign so they called the like medical team inside the hotel and the nurse came down and took one look at me and was like put an oxygen mask on <laughs> and then she was like covering me in wet towels and my temperature was still too high so she literally said she needs to get to the hospital there's no there wasn't there's not it's not like gp surgeries like we have here so they were like she just needs to get to the hospital and get some iv um antibiotics and uh fluids in her and test for what ones that she needs and stuff so yeah i ended up in hospital in Jamaica. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I just, I feel like it, it doesn't feel real. Do you ever have an experience where you're like, did that even happen to me? Like what? I was perfectly normal, like absolutely fine one minute. And the next minute, I'm not joking, I was in, in a hospital on an IV drip, like with an oxygen mask on. I've never had an oxygen mask in my life. Look at my, I'm so dry from everything. And I just feel so gross. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm blabbering on. So anyway, the, the IV and everything went in and I did start to feel like instantly so much better. Still rough as hell, but way better than what I, what I was. Um, and then that, as the, we came into the morning, so we were there from the night before we went away all the way till the morning. And I was obviously like, please let me go home. I don't want to stay here on my own while I'm not well, just let me get home. And they got me to a point where they were happy for me to fly home. Um, so then I did the flight, well I say I did the flight home, I'm not joking, I was like this, the whole flight home, poor Joe had all the kids for 10 hours, <coughs> um, excuse me, and yeah, and I literally went asleep as soon as I got home and today, just now, is like the first time I've been like, yes, I'm, I'm starting to feel like a normal human again. So yeah, I just wanted to come up on and update you and I'm just going to really listen to my body because I think so. I'm one of them people that's like, oh, it's all fine and then I end up in hospital in Jamaica. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to listen to my body and let myself get well and then I'll just have to have Christmas decorations up by February. <laughs> I'll be that weirdo. No, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's fine. Um, I'll put my highlight on from last year if any of you need any info or anything, but yeah. Um, I love you all for like checking in and asking where I am and I'm sorry I didn't come straight back on. I was actually so excited to get straight back on and do all of the cool house stuff with you. Um, but it is what it is and I need to look after myself. So yeah, I'm just going to rest up um, and hopefully in a couple of days I'll feel back to normal. Um, but even then I think I'm going to take it slow because I don't ever want to be in that situation again. It actually scared me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd update you, not that anyone cares. <laughs> But that's the situation, that's the story, and I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday, and yeah, I'll see you soon.